Schenectady. Oh, you want to battle Zep, son? I'm glad as heck. Hit you with the boom pow like I'm Adam West. What's up, guys? Welcome back to We Are Venom. My name is Ed, and today I wanted to talk about a book that I read recently. And the book that I read recently is Ghost Rider Vengeance Forever Number One. It's a one shot cover art by Bjorn Barents. I really like Barents' uh, dark horror type of art. You see uh, Ghost Rider there with the tattoos. And uh, it's uh, written by Benjamin Percy. And it's a really cool book. And it gives a, you know, a kind of a back story of uh, Ghost Riders. And it touches on uh, key characters in the Ghost Rider lore. And um, so it starts off as Johnny catches... I mean, Johnny, Johnny Blaze is going for a tattoo, and uh, he starts off the conversation with the uh, tattooist, who is, by the way, is the first appearance in this book. He doesn't look human, um, the tattoo artist, but, uh, you know, he's like, uh, I bet you've never seen any bikers without any tattoos before, and then the uh, tattooist is like, uh, oh, you have tattoos, they just haven't risen to the surface yet. I thought that as a person with no tattoos, I thought that was a pretty cool line. Um, Mephisto is, makes an appearance here. Uh, Vengeance makes an appearance here. Uh, as he's getting tattooed, he's going through the timeline, different times in history of different Ghost Riders. Uh, Blackout makes an appearance in this book. And, uh, you know... Um, they show Lilith and Mephisto getting, you know, in, in tattoo form. You know, all key components of the Ghost Rider history, basically. And at the very end, the, the most interesting part of this book to me was the end where they, uh, Zad Kiel um, showed up. Now, Zad Kiel is an archangel. So, and he seems to, like, be... Uh, brainwashing hordes of zombies, minions, uh, people that are under his spell or control. And uh, this book made me dig dig into more of this Zad Kiel character. So after doing some digging, now do your own research on this, guys. I was hoping somebody else would make a video on this before I did. I enjoy watching YouTube content as much as I enjoy making it. And uh, there's a lot of great content creators out there. And I was hoping to see somebody cover it. And uh, like I said, do your own research. I'd hate to steer you wrong accidentally. But from what I understand, Zed Kiel was kind of retconned into being the creator of the Ghost Riders. And he would, the Ghost Riders would think that they were a product of Mephisto, the devil, or Mephisto, you know. And uh, when really they are um, angels from, from heaven policing evil here on earth. But they were led to believe that they were, you know, a, you know evil. Uh, uh, or the creation of something evil. And, but they choose to do good. Because they were uh, good people, I guess. So, with, uh, the, so that there made me really think is that Marvel's way of kind of bypassing Mephisto now don't get me wrong I love Mephisto as a character he's such a key Marvel character he ties into so many things Silver Surfer the cosmic you know universe he was uh, an infinity gauntlet uh, he ties into pretty much every major title so Mephisto is definitely coming, I believe. I would definitely love to secure myself a Silver Surfer number three, which is the first appearance of Mephisto, and he's on the cover, which is very important, you know, uh, component of, you know, when you're speculating on things, for, it's great to have the first appearance on the cover, especially that Silver Age, you know, uh, thicker book, the, 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 the binding, the spine, I was always having trouble. Anyway, getting back on track, uh, so, Zed Kiel, he's responsible for creating the Ghost Riders, from what I understand. You know, I um, I got back into comics around 2018. I collected from 1990 till around 1997, and then I I picked up like a book here or there, but 
not not like how I used to, you know, as a kid. And uh, so, the key book for Zad Kiel, I believe, will be this one. It's Ghost Rider uh, 27 from 2008 run. Um, it's written by Jason Aaron. I love his work. He's just been on fire lately. And uh, he makes a really cool uh, last page cameo appearance in this book. Um, he does appear, I believe, before this in Ghost Rider Volume 2, Number 2. Um, so it's the second annual. And uh, he does appear there, but he's not in, in this form, right? With the red eyes and in his armor and everything. And uh, he's just being spoken about, I guess. He, and, and so it's so it's like a, a cameo, but it's a I don't know. It's uh, it, the market hasn't decided yet. Both of these books can be had for cover price or less, which is um, why I made this video uh, because around 2008, I don't think Brooks books were being that heavily printed, so the um, the print run on these should be um, significantly lower than what they are today, and definitely from the 90s boom of comic book collecting and speculating so um yeah so the zad kiel guys i think this is his gonna be his uh you know the key book for him to have but also like i said they're, they're cheap enough get ghost rider annual 2 from 2008 um i have one on the way i should probably get another one and uh also this this one shot really cool great read fantastic i really enjoyed this book uh and uh, I hope you guys do too. All right, guys, that's it for today. Like I said, um, great reads, great stories. I think Ghost Rider is a really uh, upcoming character. Um, and uh, I really enjoyed the book. I'm really getting into these Ghost Rider stories. Thanks again, and I'll see you on the next one. Schenectady. Oh, you want to battle Zep, son? I'm glad as heck. Hit you with the boom pal like I'm Adam West.